As mentioned earlier, this is a worked example for forces experienced by charged particles in an electric field. This is a typical type of example where we've got an electric field set up between plates A and B. A is negatively charged, B is positively charged, and the potential difference across the plates is 2000 volts. And there's an, ele an electron placed between the plates. First part, as you can see there, is pretty straightforward. Calculate the electrical work done in moving the electron from plate A to plate B. As stated earlier, the work done in moving a charged particle in an electric field is equal to the magnitude of the charge and the size of the potential difference. And in this case, with it being an electron, the charge is 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. You can find that in your data sheet. And potential difference 2000 volts. So W equals QV. And as you can see there, 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 times 2000, 3.2 times 10 to the negative 16 joules. Next question again, typical, is trying to get you to relate to the fact that the work done in moving a charge across a potential difference is equal to the kinetic energy that's gained. And so it asks how much electrical energy Sorry, how much kinetic energy has the electron gained in moving from A to B? And as I've written there, the kinetic energy gained equals the electrical work done. The electrical work done was QV, which was 3.2 times 10 to the negative 16. So that's the same as the kinetic energy gained. Last part, slightly more tricky, but not anything that you haven't really done before. But it asks you to use the fact that you know how much kinetic energy is gained to work out the speed that the electron has on arriving at plate B. Now its speed increases as it moves from A to B, so it will nearly always be the final kinetic energy that you're using to work out the speed at plate B. So the electrical work done, which we've already said is the kinetic energy gained, is written there as 3.2 times 10 to the negative 16. The mass of an electron, again you can find that in a data sheet, 9.11 times 10 to the negative 31. So you equate the two energy values. Sorry, start that again. You've got EK is a half MV squared, rearranging it, taking the half to the other side, making it two EK equals MV squared. Take the mass to the other side, V squared equals two EK over M, substitute the values in, and then finally take the square root, and you end up with a speed of 2.65 times 10 to the seven meters per second.